Hey there everyone, it's Ravindra Devrani back with another video. We are continuing the C-Sharp tutorial series and in this video we are going to discuss about static class and static members. If you find this video helpful then please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed this channel, please subscribe it. And let's get started. So first of all, what is a static class? A static class is very similar to the normal class but you cannot create its instance that's the only difference and these are some properties of static class it is sealed it means you cannot inherit it and you cannot instantiate it and our static class only contains static members and static members can also be declared inside a non-static class it means a regular class can define the static members and when you define a static members it means you can access them without creating the instance of a class so that is a static members and let's talk about this static variable when we create a static variable then a single copy of that variable is created it means it gets memory one time only then that variable is shared between all the objects so we will understand them with practical examples so let's move to the code editor okay so first of all let's define here a static method so i'm gonna define here public int add public int sum int a into b and it will return a plus b so it is a static method it means you can access it without creating instance so let's define another method here which is non-static method public void print okay it is our non-static method so if we write here part 19 obj equals to new part 19 obj dot sum and obj dot print right here console dot right line printing and now it is showing an error let's see what it is showing it is showing there is no argument okay so okay fine so let's run this program and let's see the output okay it is printing and we have to define it inside a console dot right line console dot right line and if we run this program so it is showing us 8 and printing which is fine and if i create this member as static so it will throw an error and it is saying cannot be accessed with instance reference so static members cannot be accessed with instance member it means you have to directly access them with class so how can we access them to access them we have to write this part 19 and sum so it is how we access static member and here we are accessing regular method so i hope you have a clear sense now so let's see 
let's define a static class here okay but before that what we are going to do we are going to define here a static variable and let's name it static int count equals to zero and let's define a constructor here inside a constructor we are incrementing it okay fine and let's define here print and let's print count here okay so whenever we create instance of this class that count variable will be incremented so first it will be zero then it will be one then it will be two something like this obj1 obj1 obj2 okay so what i am going to do first i am removing this static here and let's run this program so it is displaying one 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 okay it means it has a separate copy right now it has a separate copy of this count variable means every object have its separate copy of this count variable so that's why we have seeing one here but if i declare it as static now every object will share a single copy of this count variable it means whatever change is happening in this count count member those changes will be reflected to all the objects okay so let's run this program and now you will see one two three so single copy of that count variable is sharing by is shared by all the objects so that is our static variable now let's create an static class public static and let's name is utility utility public static class and it will be a utility class and let's define some methods here public static first of all let's define here public void and send email console dot right line send sending email so it is giving us an error and it is saying that you cannot define non-static methods here so here cannot declare instance members in a static class so we have to convert it to static member now we are fine and let's copy this a static void print printing so it is how we create a static class so first property was it is sealed it means you cannot inherit it if we try to inherit it then it will say cannot derive from a static class utility the second property we have discussed they cannot be instantiated it means you cannot create an instance of this utility class utility util equals to new utility 
you cannot do that with the static class okay so it will give an error cannot declare a variable of static type utility that's it and the third one is can contain only static member and we have discussed about it earlier so these are the properties of static classes and we access these thing like this utility dot print utility dot send email that's how we access the very the members of static class so it is the output printing and sending email so that was all about static in c sharp and we will catch up later in next video